My wife and I rented this cabin for a long weekend. It's pretty small, but uh, you know what? We don't have a lot of stuff and we're used to living in tight spaces, so uh, it's really cozy. Come on in, let's take a look. Okay, so this is our cabin for the weekend. It's uh, not a ton of square footage, as you can see, but you know what? We're used to that. This cabin is fully off the grid. There's no electricity, no plumbing. Uh, it's really bare bones, but you know, it's also very comfortable. Um, we, we do have a battery that we can use to power uh, a single LED light up, up above. As far as heat goes, there's just a wood burning stove. We just melt the snow outside on top of the stove and then that's our water. Up here we have a loft and that's where the sleeping quarters are uh, with this nice ladder getting up there. and. There's Emma, she's all snuggled up. Um, so yeah, there's, it's just the right amount of space and it's been really a nice, cozy getaway. There's Andrea. Hi. What do you have going on here? Um, it's gonna be sort of a squash puree. I'm gonna bake these in the oven. There's gonna be some baked uh, yams in the oven and then duck confit. And the duck fat is gonna go on all of these veggies. It's gonna taste really good. Here is the wood burning stove that uh, came with the cabin and we really are enjoying this thing. It's a lot of fun. Not only does it keep the cabin warm, but uh, we uh, are basically cooking with the stove top. We even put some baguettes on here last night, um, which was really yummy. And then up here actually is an oven. It's got a thermometer on it and everything. So inside this is this tray and you can actually bake brownies or cookies or shepherd's pie, whatever you can bake inside of there. It's, it's like integrated into the whole chimney flue situation. So uh, over here is like a, a water reservoir where you can fill it with snow and the water will melt and come out of the spigot. So yeah, this is really making the cabin cozy right now. And then outside here we have a balcony with a pretty nice view. Here is uh, kind of like our de facto refrigerator. Um, just uh, the things you know that no we'd normally have chilled in our refrigerator, like some vegetables and meats and cheeses. Which brings us to the loft, which is right up here. All the heat, of course, goes up, and so that makes the loft extra comfortable. So yeah, it's uh, pretty tight quarters up here, but you don't need too much room. And then we have this view through this window out here. And then here's the view from above. I think it's about 300 square feet. Since we're up in the mountains, there are a lot of trails right out the door that uh, we can snowshoe or hike or ski on. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna go take a little stroll right now. You ready to go outside? <laughs> My wife and I came up here to the border of Quebec and Vermont to kind of retreat into this cabin for a long weekend. We wanted to take some time to reflect on 2016 and think about our goals and aspirations for 2017. We are extremely grateful for all the friends we made and all the new places we discovered last year. We started last year in Southern California. In January, we began our long gradual journey to the East Coast. We saw Oregon Pipe National Monument in Arizona, the Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico, Big Bend National Park, for most of March and April, we enjoyed hanging around Austin, Texas. 
and we rallied with some other Airstream friends for several days out on the beach on South Padre Island. By May, we were at Jazz Fest in New Orleans, then on up to Tennessee, North Carolina, and Virginia by way of the Blue Ridge Parkway. We swung through DC, Philly, and found an amazing RV park in New Jersey with views of the Hudson River and a short train ride into Manhattan. In mid-June, we were in Maine eating fresh lobster. I finally got to explore Acadia National Park by foot and by kayak. We crossed into Canada with our good friends and we spent July touring Nova Scotia and the Maritimes. In August, we drove our home onto a ferry and eight hours later, we were rolling across the rock, Newfoundland. We absolutely loved the people, the places, and the culture of Newfoundland. That island is a magical experience and also one of Canada's best kept secrets. We popped over to Labrador for a few days and by the end of September, we were back in the mainland experiencing autumn in Quebec. We loved it so much, we decided to winterize the Airstream, rent a loft, and stay for the holidays. And that brings us to today. Uh, I'd love to tell you about our future plans. The only problem is I don't know exactly what they are. We, uh, we tend to roll pretty spontaneously uh, because that's how we're wired and living in an Airstream enabled us, enables us to do that. All I can say about 2017 is that uh, I'm really excited about it and I know that we're only going to be in Quebec uh, a couple more weeks and then we're going to have to start heading south um, down probably to Florida. I have two brothers in Florida and so then from there uh, it looks like we're probably going to head west. I can also guarantee that there's going to be some more international travel and uh, this time I mean like by air to some other parts of the world. So uh, that's really exciting. So there's a lot to ponder but mostly we're just extremely thankful for our lives, for our health, for our ability to roam, and to be able to share it all with you. Uh, sincerely, thank you for following along with, with us on this journey. And I wish you all an amazing 2017, and hopefully I will see you down the road. She's so demoralized. <laughs>